All right, we got game one versus Dozy. All right, what do we got? Kind of a mixed start. Starness might be pretty good. I don't like keeping the king bird, but don't really have a lot of choice here. Tree sparrow, I don't like it. Too limited. We're going first, so the king bird will be a good play turn one. That way, if they drop their forest bird, we'll get our return on investment. Probably keep the loon for our water bird. And it's hard not to keep a robin air. Food is getting tight. I usually don't keep more than two cards. Bird feeder isn't looking too good either. Play Kingbird, get food. Play the Loon. American Robin for the round goal. Multiple habitats. Well, we're already halfway there with Bird Bander. Might regret that later. Wouldn't be the first time I've skipped Rodentologist and then got a bunch of rodent eating birds. On that note, I think I will go with Rodentologist. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Trey isn't that impressive. So, they're really going to be relying on their opening hand here. Hooded Warbler is a good bomb. I don't know if I should deny that. I don't know if it's really denying if you end up playing it yourself. It's a good card to have. Kind of in the position to play it. Two birds. Well, I gotta get this king bird down. We're in a position to get any food for the loon, so we're good there. Plenty of cherries for the robin. So he drew blind off the top of the deck, so that kind of indicates desperate measures. Maybe did something crazy like keep Benelius from the opening hand and don't want to give anything to me through rule 16. As they draw cards to play the eagle. So I'm gonna secure the cherry for the robin. That way no matter what happens to the bird feeder we'll be able to get the second food for the loon. Oh, white throat play. 
Interesting. It's the right time to drop it in the beginning of the game. So I wonder now... I'm not going to be activating the loon, so it doesn't matter whether... I have it in the wetlands or not right now, unless I wanted to spend an egg. I think I'm actually going to take the warbler here. And then if the he plays another forest bird, we'd have the food for the warbler. Or they. Okay. Drew another card. They took that bonus card, Woodpecker. It's gonna be their second forest bird. Blue Heron, do I want that? taking the fish. For some reason I thought fish and rat. Watching too many videos of herons eating gophers. I expect the woodpecker will be next. works out anyway. Plenty of cup nests for round three. We should get our second worm here. Not they gain food. I suppose they, they need a worm and a cherry for that woodpecker. I wasn't thinking of that. Three turns left. I'm going to get this robin down. Then I'm going to... Let's see. Two turns left. I'm going to draw a card. So I have some tucking fuel. For the robin. Then I will lay some eggs. There we go. Oh, double play. I was thinking that was a uh, bonus card woodpecker, but that's the double play woodpecker. Makes sense with the white throat. to think of that. They definitely got a lot of food coming. But uh, they're going to miss out on this round goal. Alright, what are we doing? Well, I want the warbler. Well, if I draw the heron, I'm going to have to... I want to keep that for later. won't be able to tuck it. I think that's kind of a lost cause. Let's uh, gamble. Do I play that as my second forest or uh, wetland bird rather? It could. It's not a horrible card. I remember I have rodentologists here too. They could drop a grasslands bird here.
I could grab the heron now. With an eye on the future. Did talk a card. So do they have card? Do they have a grasslands bird to play here? Nope. All right. Are they gonna grab the flycatcher? They can generate a lot of food. Big point bird. Yep. So now... The hawk gets two points off rodentologist, so it's a five point play for one food. That's pretty good. The gnat catcher would really bolster our food production. I don't get rule 16 real hard here. Yeah, they don't. I don't want to give them a card. White throated dipper. Indigo bunting. Well, they already have a really strong forest. So they may. I expect them to grab the dipper for their card draw. They can't get both the bunting and the dipper. I think it, they have such strong food production, they're not going to want to go bunting except to deny it, and I think that would, yeah. Oh, rule 16 pretty hard. They're hating that. Chuck this egg, because we're probably going to have a bunch of eggs. Alright, well now it's just about getting this white stork down. I think I'm going to play the gnat catcher to bolster my food production. Of course I don't have the eggs now. They did go bunting. Interesting. I think I deny the dipper here. Four turns left, total birds played, they're ahead. Probably grab that if they realize I grab white stork and I'm going to be going hard grasslands here. But uh, yeah, they could lay the eggs on the bunting, but then you know they're going to have egg problems too, especially with this white throat. Yeah, they took the cowbird. So catbird. All right. Let's not get greedy here. Let me think. Catbird, white stork, robin. It's pretty crazy. Junko. Do I take that, too? I gotta start making some plays here pretty quick. I think I need to skip that Junko for now. Just work with what I have. Get the gnat catcher down, get food. 
get the stork down, get the catbird down. Catbird might be a tall order with that bird feeder. Well, I think we're gonna ditch the heron here. Fish for the stork. Take a wheat for the stork. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have given him a reroll there. Wasn't thinking. But they're, you know, doing good on food anyway. They'd have been able to. Got at least one card in hand. There's the cowbird. Saw that coming. Checking to see if I hit record there. <laughs> that would have been dumb if I started my game and been talking to my computer screen the whole time without recording. Luckily, we're good. So there's the flycatcher. So they're getting a lot of food from their grasslands now. And they might be giving me some of it. So I'm thinking, what do they got for food? They got no food. I wait around and let them give me a worm off the flycatcher. I'll have the food for the warbler. The food cost on this catbird is annoying right now. Maybe I should have not taken rodentologist in the beginning here. Well, let's see what the fates have in store for us here. Well, that's not good. If I'm gonna get all the rats to play these birds. Food is a problem. Gotta get this gnat catcher down. Oh, 
Yeah, I need a lot of food, and quickly. <laughs> Playing that last round wouldn't uh, got me the round bonus anyway, I still would've been one behind, so... Yeah, that draw was kind of weak off the stork. If they play another forest bird, I mean they're they're crippled for cards. They're only seeing one card a turn. All right, looks like I get to benefit from the reroll anyway. All right. All right, that was pretty good roll. Cause now the cat bird's in the game. Just stack that grasslands even more. Red wing blackbird. Honestly, I think I ignore it. If anything, get this peregrine down in the grasslands. Another cup nest. Honestly, I want food again. I gain food, I can take the rat and the worm, get a worm off the gnat catcher, play the warbler. There's a worm. So their white throat is basically out of the equation. Two worms, barn swallow, bells vireo. Barn swallow's one worm, but the uh, other swallows two worms. Lay eggs here, they get one. I mean, they're gonna fill up on eggs real quick despite the cowbird, so they're not really gaining too much off that. Yeah, eggs and platform nests. Need to get the peregrine down. So they took the worm. Take that for... I was going to say the warbler, but we're going to get a worm here. So they can have... Alright, I didn't count my eggs here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. play all of these cards, but... Well, let's try to secure this round bonus.
deny the savvy's warbler. Burrowing owl. I suppose we got the food, and it qualifies for rodentologist. I don't want to get rid of that either, but I think we're going to. get an egg. See, they're going for the white throat player. One turn left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I lay eggs, they get ten. And then if they lay eggs, they'll get thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I can't actually win the round bonus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I lay an egg, then they'll get three more off the end of a round. So I think we just play the burrowing owl here. Six point play, four, five, six, maybe seven. So the warbler is actually going to be less points, equal or less than. Kind of scary. I'm getting clobbered on these round goals here. If they give me one more food, I can drop the peregrine. Four, five, six. I can have six in platform. So I should have that one. Unless they play another platform bird. Alright. So I'm gonna go for the falcon here. successful hunts here.
<laughs> Finales. Long time to show up, bud. Yep, pretty straightforward game. Yeah, they're not going to be able to capitalize on their white throat here in round four. Maybe six, seven, eight point engine. Possibly. Can't count on the owl. Can hope for the best on the falcon. They gain food. Could be just about anything. Sixty nine points. Steal a worm to cage. If they have omnivore, because I have rodentologist, they must have omnivore specialist or prairie manager. Skip this. Don't want to give them anything amazing. Oh, I don't know. They got a lot of birds. Three, four, seven. 23, 28, 31, plus 5s, 36, they've got omnivore, 37, 38, 39, 40, plus 11 is 51, Sixty-one, sixty-eight. Plus two is seventy. Plus 
one off the cowbird is 71. Unless I'm miscounting big time here. That was closer than I thought. I should win it on Tux. Good game. <laughs> 